This is Business Rockstars. I'm Greg Greenberg reporting from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. My guest today, John Oranger. He's the founder and CEO of Shutterstock. Welcome, John. Thanks for having me. All right, so anybody who's been on the internet, and that's essentially everybody, has seen a Shutterstock photo at some point. So why don't you explain what Shutterstock does, paint a picture, if you will. Shutterstock is a two-sided marketplace where anybody can sell their images or video, and we sell that uh, product to two million customers around the world. Uh, we sell about six images a second to businesses, and businesses are using these images to sell their product or sell their service. So you're massive now, selling billions of licenses and images, but you weren't always such a massive company. What did it take to start Shutterstock? Shutterstock started with my 30,000 images back in 2003. Um, I just went out with a camera and started to shoot everything and everybody I could find. Um, and I started to sell the images to businesses and started to learn what, what those businesses needed. Uh, I then opened up the marketplace to contributors around the world to upload their photos. Uh, and today we have about 170 million images and we sell, uh, uh, sell those images to businesses around the world. Can you talk about the learning process when it comes to entrepreneurship? Were you looking to solve this problem or did it just leap out at you? How'd you get to that aha moment where the light bulb goes off over your head? It kind of came by accident. I was starting other software companies at the time. Um, I needed images for every single one. It was very hard to find those images. Um, over time, those companies kind of faded away that I had started before. Some of them failed, some of them kind of uh, uh, stopped working as well. Uh, and I just had the idea to start a subscription marketplace for stock photography, which is something I would have wanted at that time. So it sounds like you always had that entrepreneurship, the entrepreneurial vibe in you coursing through your blood, right? Did yeah. Did you ever work for anyone else ever? I did not. I did not. My goal was not to get a job. Um, turns out I have one today. Did you have a mentor uh, uh, in this process? I, did you look I, up to anyone? I did. I mean, I... I wanted to start my own business from day one. Um, from when I was a kid, I wanted to start a business. So I just kept iterating and trying. I went through about 10 failed startups before Shutterstock, and eventually it, it hit. Are you a photography enthusiast? Is that why you veered towards photography, or could you care less about the photographs of Richard Avedon and Ansel Adams and, and others? I like photography. Okay. I, I respect- good thing you know from the CEO of Shutterstock. Photography, I take my own pictures, um, but Deep down, I'm an engineer. I started um, uh, coding early on, and I programmed the first version of the site back in the early 2000s. And when you were starting up the company, were you hiring coders, or were you hiring people with good eye for photography? We were hiring engineers. We were hiring product people. We were hiring um, customer support uh, 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 people. We were hiring uh, people that, were, uh, that understood the web and understood how to sell uh, an e-commerce product on the internet. And when you were first starting out, what problems did you encounter and how did you overcome them? You started uh, out around 2003, right? So the internet bubble, the first one, it just crashed, right? So it's not an easy time to start out and start a new company. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't raise any venture capital. I started the company with about $10,000 um, and I bootstrapped it. And I think that was important from the beginning because over time we've kind of kept uh, that culture. Every dollar we spend is very important um, and we make sure that it goes to the exact right thing it needs to go to. And over time it's kind of given us that discipline uh, to make sure that we, we are allocating our resources properly. And when you look back to those days when you were just starting the company, any advice you would give yourself to a young John Orange or just starting out at Shutterstock? I would, um, I would tell myself to think bigger. Um, in the beginning... Bigger? Was, you got a billion licenses out there. <laughs> Today we've sold a billion licenses. Um, but in the beginning, I was trying for you know, maybe 10 million of revenue and a couple million of profit. Um, if I thought bigger earlier on, um, Today we're hundreds of millions of, of, of revenue and, and we've been profitable every single quarter for almost 15 years. Uh, and so I would have told myself just to just think a bit bigger because we, can, we could uh, reach a level that I hadn't imagined. Uh, or in earlier. photography to use a wide angle lens, right? Exactly. Yes. Not, not the little one. All right, we're gonna talk more about Shutterstock when we come back. This is Business Rockstars. I'm Greg Greenberg reporting from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. Back with John Oranger in a minute.
This is Business Rockstars. I'm Greg Greenberg, reporting from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, and I'm back with John Oranger. He is the founder of Shutterstock. So, John, I want to dig a little bit deeper into the founding of Shutterstock, what it took to bring about this now massive billion-dollar company. Well, it took um, a lot of persistence. Um, it took solving a lot of problems every single day. Uh, in the beginning, it was just my images. I had, to, I had to translate that business model from just my images to uh, scale to hundreds of thousands of photographers, which is what we have today. Um, we had uh, uh, an operation where we reviewed all the images coming in because businesses need to feel comfortable that we vetted those images. Uh, building the entire operation from beginning to end and scaling it is what we had to do. I love the fact that you use the royal we. So as the founder of the company, uh, how were you in terms of delegating authority or did you just want to do everything? Uh, in the beginning, I, I did a lot. Uh, and as I started to hire people, um, I handed off things that I had learned on my own, um, and I trained them uh, to, to do those tasks. Were you um, good about handing over a problem, or would you say, let, let me just do that for you? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's, it's a skill you have to develop over time. Today, we're over 1,000 employees. Back then, I was going from one to five, um, and each stage uh, was a different learning experience, going from one to five, five to 10, 10 to 20, uh, 20 to 50. Um, it's a different type of company every time, and it was changing constantly. How do you make sure that the corporate culture remains the same as you originally envisioned it? You work on it every single day. Um, you have to get into the details some days. You have to get out of the details and, and think strategy from a really high level on other days. Um, and kind of switching between those two altitudes is super important. Can you talk about the competitive environment and how that's developed since you started the company? Yeah, I can buy images anywhere, not just you. I like yeah. yours the best, but I can buy them <laughs> in you. other places. You should always buy them from us. Um, we have competitors today. We had competitors um, in 2003. Over time, it's changed. I think what has made us successful is focus every single day on the customer. Every single day we get to the office and we think about what we can do to further make it easier uh, and more productive for our customers. Our customers are businesses. If they make more money with our images, they will come back to us and buy more of our images. And every day we try to make them more successful. How do you keep up with technology as well? Once again, you founded this in, I think, 2003, right? Yes. So the internet has certainly changed. We've added a lot more videos, like the one you're watching right now at home. So how do you keep up with technology while you're trying to keep up your business? Yeah, it's every day. It's, it's, a, it's, it's focus and it's a challenge and it's our team. Um, we're constantly hiring um, amazing people that help us navigate the, the fast changing tech environment. Um, one of the things we're doing is we're moving from data centers to a cloud environment. Um, today if you start a company you'd probably start in a cloud based environment. So that's one example of kind of a, 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 a transition. Are there any other companies that you could spin off from Shutterstock? I mean, you've grown to such a, a, a massive organization. Is there a spinoff? Uh, there, there could be. Um, just a few months ago, we spun off our digital asset management business. Uh, and uh, there, there, there could be others. Uh, today, we have a really good core product that um, has a lot of different facets for all of our customers. And um, we'll probably be adding to it instead of spinning off. And then finally, any other companies for John Oranger? Once again, you have that <laughs> entrepreneurial blood in you. Anything uh, else left in there? I mean, the great thing is that we get to every day be entrepreneurial at Shutterstock. So that's what I'm focused on today. And we're building new businesses uh, inside of Shutterstock every day. If I wasn't doing this, I'd probably be start starting something else. All right. Well, thanks a lot for coming on and talking about it. Thank you. This is Business Rockstars from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. Thanks for watching.